so it's nearly Halloween the day before, and I was going. I wanted to dress up as a milk or a cookie, as a couple. Anyways, was at the coffee shop. Wife pointed out that probably wouldn't be the best idea to be a milk and cookie because it's kind of lame. Uh, I like them, but uh, you know what? I have a YouTube channel and I need to start blogging. So what a great way to start blogging by making my own uh, Halloween costume. Kind of got an idea what they need to do, so I'm going to stop in at Walmart and do some shopping with my wife. Maybe the thumbnail will have what the, the end result is. So we're going to go in here. All right, first things first, I need a box. I wonder if I'm a medium or I'm a large. Um, medium is a little tight these days. I'm going to definitely have to do a large. People are looking at me weird. I had explained to them I'm making a Halloween costume, but I'm stuck. I can't jump over this. Uh, definitely a large. Now I just need a Sharpie to make my marks. Hopefully that works. I can mark on the cardboard. Hmm. Wasn't, I was thinking a poster board, but maybe this will work. You know, pretty sturdy, stronger than poster board, more secure so I'll probably use that too so what I'm looking for so unfortunately something clear and that is clear but also you got all the lettering and writing on there so it's not quite what I want and it's also $22 I do not want to spend $22 I'm trying to make this cheap hmm craft check section is not working out so well I mean, what would you guys think? You can comment down below what you would have done. I'm trying to make uh, a glass door, you know, something clear so you can see the plush in my machine that I'm making. Oh, by the way, I'm making a claw machine outfit. Yeah. Gonna need an exacto knife for sure. Kind of expensive, but necessary. Necessary tool. I kind of have an idea what I could use. I just didn't like how flimsy it would be. It's like, uh, like a one of these, a sh a like a clear sheet, Ugh, sleeve, so I'll see if I can find some of that. So I found these, they're like a hard plastic frame, and uh, I think I'm not using those. This is like seven bucks for this one. Go sideways for the glass window. Yeah. Hopefully that works. These are pretty cool. Come with the batteries and everything. Yeah, it's all remote control. Change the lighting. Hmm. Maybe I can make that for my indoor lighting. Maybe I can use all three of them. So I took the X-Acto knife and I did what I wanted. I cut out a center hole. And I'm just going to put the glass over there. Apparently I did get glass. Unfortunately, I thought it was like a plexiglass, but it was real glass. But uh, I got a frame to keep myself protected. And I'll just stick it in there. Hopefully it won't be too heavy. So this uh, double-sided tape is supposed to be like 10 pounds of strength. So I'm hoping that a whole bunch of them will hold up the frame. The frame probably weighs like 5 pounds. Hmm. Seems to be holding up pretty well. Yeah, I think it may have worked. Now I just gotta clean it up a bit. But I also have to make the play field. So it's not the cleanest cut because the Zacto knife sucks. And I took that foam board and made a play field. So the idea, if I may, this is uh, it's the my costume upside down, so I'm putting this in upside down. I'm going to tape it against there and imagine with me an upside down uh, you, you look that. It, I, I guess I flipped you upside down so you look but that's what you're going to look at the play field and then I'm going to put the plush of course up there on, on right side up and I have a big opening right there but you're not going to be I'm tall so I'm not like super tall but 
people are not going to be able to look up. And maybe I'll trim it down a little bit so I can put my hand in there because I was thinking about putting my hand as the claw. Yeah. Mm, it's not quite what I imagine a claw machine to be. It's more like a display bar. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my hand's going to fit in there, so I am going to have to make a claw. Just kind of add to the effect. Maybe have a toy hanging onto the claw. I mean, if I was a little bit skinnier, I could have added more play field. So, uh, if you recall in one of my old videos, I did have one claw break down. So I just uh, decided to make that my claw. It's going to be holding a prize, hopefully. Next, I'm going to add the LED lighting. So, I got the light on the side. Here, you can see the other one. Sorry, it's a weird angle. And with the settings on here, hit flash. Oh, turn them on first. And now they're flashing different colors. And then, of course, I got a third one, which will be my joystick, uh, clean uh, the claw button. Sorry. So, um... I have no hands, so I'm not going to be able to drive once I put this on. It takes a, a person to help me put it on. But this is what it looks like without my joystick. I mean, I'll have to add the joystick on, and I'm going to have to finish coating it with the white tape. And I'm pretty much done. So, just a little bit longer. So, what I did is I got my button, and then my wife suggested a blow pop. I'm going to tape this up with a black coat and I use the old cell phone case uh, box whatever and that will be my joystick and uh, button yep thank you all right so this is my costume uh, all finished and done I got a little joystick <laughs> yeah maybe I can move it from wiggle it got my claw it's all ready to go I have no arms I feel like I'm a machine, you know standing there anyways it was fun making about $50 uh, worth of product in total and uh, yeah, so I'm a claw machine for trick or treat. <laughs> so, yeah, because I'm extreme bending. I guess this is extreme. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't know how to say it. Oh, uh, well, if you did like this uh, costume or you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it by clicking the smash the like button and click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in an upcoming video. Uh, actually, remember there's a giveaway coming up soon, so make sure you check out the giveaway. Make sure you sign up for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.